fucking plane. Do you think an eight hour flight is long? He says yes. Hell yeah, that shit is fucking long. I say no. This nigga. Fuck that shit. Biatch! It's a long time for your ears to fucking pop. Nigga, that shit is crazy. You <laughs> come up with the fucking plane death. <laughs> <laughs> fucking jet lag like a bug, bro. You like, yo. Fuck. What's good, everybody? It's your boy. What's good, everybody? This is your boy Empire hitting y'all with a ghetto episode of Props. This is like we're gonna call this uh, Props episode eight point nine and three sixteenths. That's what we're gonna call this one. As you can see, the quality is a little bit lower. The the background is different. All that's different because this is not really gonna be an actual episode of Props. It's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna talk about a few things, get a few things off my chest, and that's gonna be it. First thing I want to let y'all know, episode 9 is going to be coming out soon. It's I have not forgotten about all the fans out there, everybody that's watching the show. I have not forgotten about you. People are asking, where is episode 9? Is it coming? It is coming. Trust me, I got you. It's coming. i just been in the studio. I'm going to show y'all some studio clips, you know what I'm saying, at the end of this episode. And let y'all know, you know, I really am in the studio. I really am putting work in. And just to let y'all know, it's uh, 7.48 in the morning. I haven't gotten any sleep, and uh, I'm still awake. I was writing a new song before I decided to film this and let everybody know where the hell I was. And, um, yeah, uh, it's 7.48 in the morning. And um, as you can see, you know, I, my hair is all nappy and all that stuff. I, I have, that's all I've been doing is just grinding, man. Just grinding. Grrr. And for those of y'all out there that think Empire is full of shit, I mean, y'all can go to my page. I have two new songs on there. One is called Auto-Tune, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. And the other one is called Hustler's Way. So go to my MySpace page. You know, y'all should know it by now. MySpace.com backslash Styles Music, S-T-Y-L-Z-M-U-Z-I-K. Go check out the two new songs. Now, the first thing that I'm going to talk about has to do with my new song. I have a new song called Auto-Tune, like I said. And basically, the ironic thing about it is that I was making the song to make fun of people who have been jocking T-Pain and they've been using auto-tune for themselves for no apparent reason. The funny thing about this is that I used auto-tune to make the song. But Empire, wouldn't that mean that you're jocking T-Pain swag too? No. I did it on purpose. It even has a, a little voice, you know, it's a, it's a funny voice on it. It's not my voice trust me it's me doing all the vocals trust me, it's me it's me or else i would not put it on my myspace page it's me doing the vocals it just has a, a little funny voice to it and basically i'm abusing auto-tune i'm taking it and i'm just using it in all the wrong ways you know basically making fun of ron browse for the most part i'm getting a that money a that money a -A 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 -A. But bottom line is, make sure y'all go ahead and y'all check that out. It's on my page. It's the first song that should play, uh, depending on when you see this video. Because if you see it later on down the road, it'll probably be gone. But anyway, make sure you go check it out. Auto-tune. If you see this down the road and you still want to hear it, just hit me up on YouTube. Let me know. Hit me up on my MySpace. Let me know, and I'll send it to you. Subject number two. I like to talk about a lot of people out there wearing <sighs> skinny jeans. Now, when I say people, I don't mean people as in, you know, females. Females can wear skinny jeans. That's wonderful. But guys are wearing skinny jeans. I mean, jeans so small that they're actually high waters while they're standing up. Now, with all these guys wearing skinny jeans, I wouldn't be surprised if 2009's count of yeast infections just shot way up into outer space. And then to add insult to injury, not only are people now wearing these tight-ass jeans, but now guys are just wearing these these scarves around their neck. Everybody has these different scarves. Trust me, people, I'm not going to knock every new fashion statement that comes through. I'm only going to knock the ones where a celebrity will just come and do one thing and then everybody just wants to hop on that celebrity's dick. I mean, be original. I understand if you, you came up with something yourself and, you know, it doesn't look ridiculous and then other people follow along gradually, but when one person does it and then you just notice an entire population following after get off the man's day come up with your own style that's why you, God gave you a brain so that you can be original you can come up with your own ideas stop jocking everybody else's swag now before I get into these video clips about the studio and show you how we get down in the, in the studio and how we get all the things popping I'm going to talk about a subject that that has to do with the studio that has to do with music and um, you know, just to let you know, I'm, I'm sitting in the studio right now. I was writing in the studio. If you don't believe me, I'll show you, you know. 
this studio right there, you know, the equipment. I I'm sitting right here, okay, no camera tricks, no I am here, right here, right now. And um the subject that I wanted to talk about, uh, we were supposed to do a, a, a special episode of Props called Who Killed Hip Hop. Now, like I kept saying before, I never said that hip hop was dead, other people were, but I'm going to clear one thing up right now. I have a poll on my page, and the poll is basically asking you, the people, who you feel killed hip hop. Now, right here on this episode, I'm going to read you the results of what people have been saying so far about who killed hip hop, and then I'm going to tell you exactly what the status really is. Now, according to you, the people, uh, 42% of you have voted for Soldier Boy, saying Soldier Boy killed hip hop. 24% of you have said none of the above to the rest of the answers that I'm about to let you know. 15% of you said Shouty Low killed hip hop. 11% of you said Lil Wayne killed hip hop. 5% of you said Nas killed hip hop. And 4% of you said Kanye West. Okay, um, as much as I hate to say this, everybody that that answered the poll, that actually put an answer on there. Um, the closest to the right answer was the people that said none of the above. People understand something, okay? Hip-hop is not dead. Nobody killed hip-hop. This is the thing. If you think hip-hop is dead, then that is because of the fact that you have made the mistake of thinking songs like Crank Dad and Stanky Leg and all those songs are hip-hop. See, those are dance songs. Just like there is techno, there's trance, there's house, they're all different genres. There's a difference between rap, hip hop, and dance music. If crank that, do the stanky leg, and 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 all these other dances, uh, the the my Dougie and all that, they're all dance songs. This is not hip hop. This is not rap. This is dance music. Okay, hip hop is not dead. Hip hop lives on. All right. It's just that the media will tell you, yeah, this is rap. This is hip hop. You're listening, and you're like, oh yeah, this is the new rap. This no, it's not rap. It's dance music. Okay, so we have to understand that they're not playing as much rap and hip hop on the radio now. They're playing more dance music. Understand that. Hopefully that has settled a lot of mental disputes for a lot of people out there. Hip hop is not dead. There you go. Okay, if I'm the mad scientist who just answered all of your questions, wonderful. Tell all your friends to watch me and give me a million views and do that for me. Now that we've established that hip hop is not dead, I'm going to allow you to enter into the world of my hip hop, my my little realm where I, you know, I live. Music is my life, you know, uh, aside from props, music is my main thing. It's my life. So I'm about to let you see what I'm doing right now. I'm down here in Georgia and uh I'm, you know, I'm messing with some 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 dudes that know what the hell they're doing as far as music goes, you know, I'm studio junkies. You know, you have the producer Bill Blast down here who he actually produced my song, Hustler's Way, he, he made that beat, so make sure you go check that out, and Bill Blast is on my top friends too, so I'm messing with some dudes who, who are very, very good, very, very well into the game, they know what they're doing, they're doing a damn good job, so uh, Studio Junkies, Bill Blast, I give props to y'all, man, y'all, you know, y'all been holding that pie down for a minute, and um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all enter into the world of Empire, the Studio Junkies. Be out. Go. Right now I'm in the studio. This right here. It's the head of the studio. This is Burrow. You know what I'm saying? Studio junkies. Fuck y'all yeah, niggas. This <laughs> ruined my whole shit. <laughs> Empire. This has been episode 8.9 and 3.16, so whatever I said in the beginning, episode 9 will be coming to you as soon as I can get it to you. I promise it will be out soon. Until then, this is episode whatever. <laughs> this is your boy Empire. Holla at your boy. I'm using auto I wanna be